I just wanted to thank you all so much for the just incredible messages that you've been sending through about you know the loss of my father and the the incredible new grandson that came through very early. So thank you, thank you, thank you, because I can't tell you what that means. And it just lifts my vibration and yeah, then I can share. So yeah, the family's doing good. The family's doing good. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I've written this one up and yeah, I really resonate to it. And let's see how you go. Have you noticed it's about yourself. That when you start healing your trauma and start to awaken to your reality around yourself, you actually start seeing people for whom they are. You start seeing life through different eyes. It's like your lenses have changed up. You will start seeing people for who they are. You will notice that so many lack or don't even have empathy towards others. Now that's really standing out. You will start reading them and recognizing their weaknesses and their traumas. When you stand back and recognize traits in that person, you recognize that you see them now for whom they really are. When you awaken to reality around you, as you are connecting to a higher frequency, you see the frequency that they resonate on and you don't align with that person anymore. Because so many people are, uh, are mentioning this to me and they think, oh gosh, what's happening to me? What's happening to me? What's happening to you? As you are growing, you are upgrading, you are lifting your vibration. And what happens is you see reality for what it really is compared to you being dulled down when the um, blinds come off and you start lifting your whole vibration. Life around you is completely different. Trust me, I'm, I have to ha deal with it all the time. And the higher the frequency I become, it's like, oh my gosh, they're really showing themselves because vibrationally you don't resonate. And when I look at people, it's like I'm looking right through them. It's like, and that's when you know they're non-existent or their soul has left as well. You see the frequency that they resonate on and you don't align with them anymore. Their personalities really show themselves from narcissistic personalities and you recognize that you no longer wish to be aligned in that reality anymore. This is a powerful gift for you to recognize. Now, because yes, yeah, so many, so many are recognizing it now. So I just wanted to pass this on for you to start recognizing it in yourself. As many of these people can't see it within themselves, but take much pleasure in stripping down. They take much pleasure in stripping down another for their own gratitude. Now you recognize you no longer want to be associated with these people any longer. You have come to a point, the more you learn about who and what makes you happy, you will resonate more with me and others and a different frequency. I, that probably doesn't even make sense, but when you recognize the traits in these people, and then you resonate with people of a like-minded and on a higher frequency. Wow, that really starts showing out what their vibration is to what you're resonating with and with the people that you listen to or uh, hang around with. As many people are just surviving, 
and not even recognizing they have been conditioned by their surroundings. Whereas you, yes, you have awoken yourself to recognize you no, re you no longer resonate to certain people or places which make you feel uncomfortable anymore. And when I mean places, you can now go to certain areas or your work or wherever you used to hang around with, with these people. It's like, oh, I now don't feel, oh God, I don't feel comfortable there. It's because you've picked up the energy of the negativity that feeds them. When you recognize that, wow. It's like, oh, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable being in that place. I hope this makes sense. Recognize your inner self. What is your inner person feeling? Where do you wish to be and be around? I've seen so many now that are wanting to spend more time alone to just be. This is the time of much growth. Find that time yourself because many don't, don't allow themselves this time. There is no excuse. Trust me. If you saw my time schedule, even I wonder how I manage it. But I know how important it is. So visualize. I push pause so I can find that extra time. For not only for myself, but also for the person that is needing some guidance or help. As I believe I am worthy of that space to heal when I take time out. Ask yourself, do you have a shower or use the bathroom? This is the perfect time to start from there to just be. So many people go, I just don't have time. I just don't have time. And I just go, do you have a shower? Do you go to the bathroom? Yeah. Do it then. Start changing up. There's no excuse to give yourself five or ten minutes. Okay? Even you're in the shower, even if it was a six-minute shower, you've still got time while you're drying yourself off and and working out what clothes you're want, wishing to wear. All that time. Use it. And just a thought came through. Yeah, but I've got kids. Yeah, but they're not up till late, have a share at night, there's that time. Because when I have a shower, I transport myself to another frequency and I complete so much of my thinking and I visualize as though I'm already there where I wanna be. I visualize already having what I wish or what I resonate to. If I see a blockage in part of my own life, I look at it from another angle. I'll even break it down and look at the worst case scenario and work backwards to find a solution. So then I don't hold on to the fear. To not achieve is to hold on to the fear in which controls you. You are trained to fear, lack of confidence, and you are not a worthy of what you seek through programming all your life. So don't be hard on yourself. It's just switching the dial. You don't resonate to that radio frequency, that radio station anymore. Start changing the dial. Change up your thought patterns. 
This is where you have to push yourself and change up the way you see your life. Look at my situation. I'd been placed in with my father. I challenged the system for the injustice. Yet to achieve this, I emerged myself with my grandchildren beforehand to reground myself. Even my daughters knew that is what I needed and made sure they surrounded me with so much love from my angels from the light. My little grandchildren. From there, I grabbed hold of the opposite energy to rebuild and heal my inner core. So by surrounding yourself around souls that you balance yourself with, you help one another to stabilize and grow from inward out because it's in here. When you connect in here, you can just pump. What you are recognizing now is a huge percentage of people out there in your reality are false people that you now struggle to be around as you no longer resonate with. So life is showing you where you are. And are you wishing to grow with your gift? Well, now is the time to embrace it with both hands and grow and become the person you were born to be. Inspire others and light your spark within and become the lighthouse for others to see while they walk in the dark. As so many have lost their way in life, especially with the elections that have gone through. And you know, just push that aside because there's more that needs to come out yet. You knew the good guys couldn't show. It has to be the opposite. And even then, my ears are just ringing as soon as I said that. They're just going nuts. Because more has to come out and be revealed to show others. So don't walk with fear. Hold your head up high. Because we're in this together, remember. As so many have lost their way in life. As they have followed the wrong line. So many have been tricked. And have remained stuck. But this is the lifetime that they now have the opportunity to change or go back. So where do you fit in your world? This is something you need to embrace with both hands and build up your focus to emerge through with ease, knowing life at the moment can be very bumpy, but you have always, and you will always be protected. We all need challenges in our life to teach us to grow. Otherwise you stay stagnant and you think nothing's wrong and you go down one path. Well, that's boring. We take on the challenges to lift and to grow and become who we need to become. I know myself, oh boy, when you commit to wanting to grow and, and grow within your potential of whom you're wanting to be, you cannot go down one path and see nothing. By being challenged, you awaken yourself to a completely new real reality and you grow and you feel and by gosh, you know, the, the hurdles that I take on at the time, they're hard, but I get taught so hard at times and I think, what the hell? 
But when I come out the other end, I can see why I had to go through that because it's pulled out this inner core that needed to come out for me to grow. So I see life so different to so many. And it's now your time. And you're already doing it because you're here listening to this. So honor yourself, keep going and keep strong. Because we all need challenges in our life to teach us to grow, as I said. It's just a matter how much you're wanting to get over the finish line. As it can be very slow or are you determined to move this shite? out the way and let's get on with it well i know where i am now we have got this so bring it on baby so go out have an amazing day today keep your vibes high until next time i love you and i'll see you then